Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad that you stuck it out with me this month as we've learned how not to give up. Actually, it's not just about refusing to give up when life gets tough. You can choose to keep holding on no matter what. That's what having grit is all about. Remember, grit, G-R-I-T, is refusing to give up when life gets hard. Say that with me. Grit, G-R-I-T, is refusing to give up when life gets hard. I can tell you become experts at showing grit. But I wonder, hmm, have you also become experts in mountain climbing? Let's see if you can remember some of the gear we've learned about. Are you ready for this game? The bigger picture! Hi, Maverick. Hi, Fifi. How do we play the bigger picture? Well, I've got some pictures of mountain climbing equipment that we've learned about. And I want to see if you can figure out what the gear is for. On the screen, you'll see a zoomed in picture of one piece of climbing or outdoor gear. We'll zoom out slowly until you can see the whole picture. So try and guess what it is before you see the full picture. Are you ready, everybody? Oh, yeah. Let's get started. So, number one, what is it? Is it a shell? Uh, no, it's not. A cap? Try again. I think it's a helmet. It's a helmet. Yes, you are right. Okay, let's look at picture number two. What is this? A belt? A belt. It's a sort of belt. What do you think, boys and girls? Could it be a harness? It's a harness. Well done. Let's move on to number three. Hmm. Hmm, this is an interesting one. Handcuffs? Handcuffs. Hmm, not really. <laughs> I think it's a carabiner. A carab... You sure it's not a carabian? No, carabiner. Carabiner, you are correct. Question number four. Ooh, what are these things? <laughs> what do you think, boys and girls? High heels. Um, I think so. High heels? No, they got no heels. Sneakers? No. Climbing shoes. Climbing shoes, they are climbing shoes. Yay! Right, moving on. Number five, we are there, we are there. Number five is a... House. A house. Kennel. A kennel? <laughs> Wait, a tent. A tent. A yes, it is a tent. Yay. Whoa. Way to go, everyone. You are great at seeing the bigger picture. You remembered all the climbing gear we learned about. Well done for refusing to give up. Now I think it's time for our final Bible story on grit today. Are you ready, boys and girls? As we've been going through the book of Exodus this month, we've learned so much. We've learned that God rescued his people, the Israelites, from cruel and hard slavery in Egypt. They had a long way to be set free, 400 years. Can you believe it? But they held on because God knew what they were going through. Then they started traveling through the desert. They might not have known which way to go, but it was okay because God was with them, guiding them with his presence in the form of a cloud by day and a pillar of a fire at night. They could hold on even though things were scary or confusing because God was guiding them. We learned how God looked after them very well. He gave them food to eat in supernatural ways. He rained down bread from heaven for them and sent birds for them to eat as meat. God even made their clothes and shoes last for the whole journey. God really took care of them and God will take care of us too. Wow. God was so good to the Israelites. We've learned so much about their epic journey this month. That's right, Maverick, and their journey wasn't over yet. As the Israelites were journeying through the desert, they were there for a long time, so they encountered some challenges on the way. 
What challenges? Well, one of the nations in the desert was called the Amalekites. Man, the Am... Amal... Amalekites. Amalekites. That's a tough name. I know. And the Amalekites were tough people too. Less than two months after God's people were set free from Egypt, the Amalekites planned a surprise attack on the people of Israel to hurt them. They knew that Israel was vulnerable to attack because they were on a journey. They were in a new nation with no real army and not many weapons. They tried to take advantage of the fact that the Israelites would have been tired and weak. They even especially targeted the sick people, the elderly, the women, the children, and anyone who was weak and at the back. The Amalekites could have easily defeated Israel in the state. Even though the Amalekites had heard about how God had set the people free from Egypt and how God had told Pharaoh to let his people go, the Amalekites still did not respect God. They tried to harm God's people. Oh no. What did Moses do? Well, remember that Moses trusted God and Moses had grits. Moses got a strategy from God. He knew that God would protect his people, even though there were bad people coming against him. So first, Moses said to Joshua, Choose some men and go and fight the Amalekites. T -t 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 Tomorrow, I will stand at the top of the hill and I will hold the stick God gave me to carry. Joshua obeyed Moses and went to fight the Amalekites. At the same time, Moses, Aaron, and their friend Hur went to the top of the hill. Moses held his hands up in the air during the fight. As long as Moses held his hands up, the Israelites would be winning. But when Moses put his hands down, the Amalekites would start to win. Let me help keep your hands up. Moses' arms started to get tired, so Aaron and Hur got a big rock for Moses to sit on. Then they held up his hands in the air so they wouldn't get tired. They did this until the sun went down. So Joshua defeated the Amalekites in this battle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write about this battle in a book so people will remember. Then Moses built an altar to praise and worship God because God had protected the Israelites in a time of danger. I will name this altar, the Lord is my banner, so that all the people can rem remember this day. I lifted up my hands to the Lord strong. God had fought the battle for the Israelites. They were too tired and weak to defend themselves against this big enemy, but God did it for them. God is with you, boys and girls, and he loves you very much. Sometimes we're going to face challenges. Maybe people have said some mean things about you at school, or maybe you've been treated unfairly, or maybe you feel left out. You can remember that just like God helped the Israelites through a tough time and God defended them, God can defend you too. That's our bottom line for today. Hold, Hold on, on because, because God, God is, is your, your defender. defender. God doesn't fight our battles with sticks and weapons, but he knows what we're going through and he can fight our battles for us. It's very, very important to remember, boys and girls, that if someone is doing something that can cause you harm, it is a good thing to report it to a safe adult who can help even if the person isn't happy about you reporting them. That's right. Let's pray and ask God to help us have grit. That's G. R I T, so that when we face challenges, we can remember that God is with us and God can defend us. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that true grit comes from you. Would you please help us to know that you are with us? Open our eyes to see you and our ears to hear you. Please give us grit to hold on when things are tough. In Jesus' name, Amen! Moses has really taught us how to have grit. But Moses' grit did not come from his own strength. Moses' grit came from God. 
Moses could only hold on because God was his defender. And God is our defender too. So let's remember to hold, hold on because, because God, God is your, your defender. defender. That's right, Maverick. Jesus will never leave us alone. Sometimes it can be tempting when someone says something mean to us to say something mean back. Or when one of our friends leaves us out, then we want to leave them out too. But because Jesus is always with us, he says, don't pay others back for what they do to you. Leave it to him. That takes a lot of grit to be kind in the face of such obstacles. But you can hold, hold on because, because God is your defender. defender. And on that note, boys and girls, let's do our memory verse for one lifetime together. In three, two, one. Let, Let us not, not become, become tired of, of doing good. good. At, At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6 verse 9. It's been such fun being with you boys and girls this month. Learning about Moses, Exodus, and grit. May you always know where real grit comes from. Your heavenly father who promises to never leave you. That's all from us now. Salani Gatlevangani. Bye. It doesn't matter what's ahead of me. Oh, I know you make way and I'll see Cause I know that you are real to me And my soul can testify Oh, I'll sing it, Jesus, in your name You make me victorious, whatever may come I will shout your praise with all my soul Cause I know for sure that you're fighting for me You're fighting for me you're fighting for me, oh, 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 one thing that I know, that I know for sure, you're fighting for me, you're fighting for me, one thing that I know, that I know for sure, you're fighting for me, you're fighting for me, one thing that I know, that I know for sure. You're fighting for me, you're fighting for me One thing that I know, that I know for sure You're fighting for me, oh, oh, oh You're fighting for me, you're fighting for me, oh